You throw a Halloween party. Do you have lots of ghosts, monsters, goblins? Why not make a cute little checkered game with bags that hold the game pieces for your next Halloween party? Hello, I am Jackie with Jackie Russell Creates, where I give tips, tricks, hacks, and techniques for those quilting projects, whether they are big or they are small. So hit that subscribe button so you can add all these tips to your quilting toolbox so you have them for that next project that you have in mind. Now, let's get started. I'm making this checkers game. So to start this fun Halloween game project, you're just going to need a few supplies and not even much of it. <clears throat> You're going to need some background fabric and batting that is at least 12, 14 inches by 40 inches, so not very much. Then you're going to need three, four, sorry, four pieces of strips, and these strips are cut at two inches wide in the width of your fabric and then you're going to sub cut them to two inches by 17 inches so if you had a fat quarter you could use that <clears throat> so you need four of the same design that are two inches wide by 17 inches you're going to need two pieces of fabric and I'm using a seam type fabric so I'm not putting anything on mine, but you can use a block, you can, a 12 inch block, you can use a solid piece of background and applique onto it, <clears throat> but your blocks have to be cut at 12 and a half square. Then you're going to need some sashing, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is one and a half by 12 and a half. And then you're going to need some fabric for your binding. And I used a fat quarter and I got needed six strips roughly to make it all the way around the project. So what we're going to first start with is combining our strips. <clears throat> and we're going to do strip piecing, which is where you put your strips down and sew them all together. And then you're going to cut subdivisions of that. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate these. We're going to start with the black. It, it really don't matter. Then you're going to add the white or the <clears throat> next color to it. So the first time I'm going to stitch the going this way and then I'm going to open it up and I'm stitching down this way. So when, you, when you're stitching <clears throat> on strips, you want to make sure that you go alternate directions meaning I stitched coming this way so the next time when I add this black I'm going to be st stitching this way and the reason for that is you don't want your strips to be wavy and that's what will happen if you do the same direction every time so we're going to go and we're going to strip piece these alternating the colors so we have a stripe like this every other color and you're gonna have four of each color <laughs> So now that I have this stitched, you would normally add this piece on and stitch it like this. But you don't want to go down this side. So you're going to flip it and sew with the two pieces on top. And now we're going to add a black and we're going to stitch it down this way. So another way that you can do 
for your stitching <coughs> strip piecing <coughs> so they come out straight is do uh, sew these two together sew these two together add these two together and then add it and just you know piece them like that so that's how i'm going to do it for the rest of these and there is our strip we are going to take it to the ironing board and we're going to press it and you want to press toward the black fabric now that we have our strips on together we're going to do what's the second part of our strip piecing and now we're going to sub divide this so i'm going to line that up the line on the bottom and we're going to cut these into two two inches so these should be two inches by 12 and a half inches and you should get eight pieces so we have our eight strips and now what we're going to do is we're going to just rotate them and we're going to chain stitch them down and by chain stitching that just means you're going to take these two stitch together them two stitch together them two stitch together these two stitch together one right after another through the machine we want a checkered board so to start the chain piecing i'm just going to take two pieces and lay on top and because we did everything to the black pressed everything to the black i'm going to nestle them seams and put a pin in there now that we have them all pinned we're going to chain them together don't cut pick another strip and start sewing Grab my ender and sew it through. And then you cut your little tails or your threads, and now you're just going to cut those little threads between each strip and now we're going to sew these together okay so now we have our checkerboard it made your 12 and a half by 12 and a half and now it's ready to assemble we're going to take our sashing and we're going to put it on each end and then we're going to take our other piece and attach to that now that we have our top done we need to make a bag before we quilt this so you'll need another piece of fabric that is nine inches by seven inches and then along this top edge you're going to do a hem so we're going to fold over a little bit i'm going to take it to the iron and press this down and then fold it over again just to give it a finished edge and then once you have that sewn or pressed down you're going to do a top stitch on there to hold it down and then we're going to right sides together fold it in half and we're going to stitch down the side and across the bottom to make a little pouch so we're here at the ironing board and i'm just going to i'm just going to eyeball it but you can measure it and just fold in a little piece and press it down
and then you're just going to fold it over again and press that down. So you have a nice finished edge. So we're just going to top stitch. And then with right sides together, we're going to pin down the side and this bottom edge. So we have a place to put our game pieces. We're going to clip the corners and turn our bag right side. And now we just have to put a drawstring on there. But first I think I'm going to take it to the iron and give it a good, a good pressing. So now we need to make the drawstring on our bag. And all I did was take some twine from the dollar store. And I'm just going to tie a knot in this one end. And then not even at the edge. You know, just to kind of keep it from being pulled all the way through. Because I will have, you know, grandchildren playing with this. And then I'm just going to do some long stitches. About an inch down from the top. All the way around. So we have it strong, and now we're going to put our pieces in. And I found these cute little pumpkins at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use for my pieces. And so you need eight of each color. These come in a package of five. They had a whole bunch of different styles <clears throat> to choose from, but you just need eight. So I'm gonna make two pouches, one for each color. We're gonna put our pieces in there and then you're going to tie it. Make sure I pull the right right string and you're just going to tie it in a little bow so they don't lose the pieces then I'm going to snip this and tie a knot in this end just like I did the other end just to keep it from coming through the bag and there's our little pouch what we can do is safety pin one to each end so then they have it you know it's attached and you won't lose it cute little bag there now you're ready to go quilt as desired and bind it and i'll see you for the final reveal